I think the priority is is finding one someone that's going to have an impact. You know, you want to find a starting level player at that spot. There, there's no doubt about that. And and I think along with that, you want to find a player um, that fits um, one. Um, hopefully, fits a need that you have. Right. I mean, you're going. We're going to look at the best available players, but we also have a lot of places on this team where we can add competition and we can add play, people that can help our roster. Um, and we want to find a player that fits our what we look for in a Raiders player. We want to find someone that has a passion for football. Football. We want to find someone that um, you know is is someone that um, has some upside, that has some explosiveness to their game, um, that that can that can impact the game in a positive way, and that's going to fit our organization, I'd say, and have a positive impact on the organization as a person too. Um, so those are some of the things that you know we'll be dialed in on. Is there an inherent pressure? Do you feel pressure to get it right? Yes. I want to get 12, I want to get 12, 12 contributing players, you know, and so, um, yeah, we put that pressure on, on ourselves and I put that pressure on, on myself and Josh puts the pressure on himself and just as a, as a, as a scouting department, we feel that pressure in a good way because um, I think that pressure drives you, you know, it drives you when you're, when you're meeting for 15 straight days, um, you know, there, there's a, a monotony that can, you know, that you could let grow in, but um, I think that pressure, that motivation to get it right, that motivation to improve the team, Though that's the pressure that that keeps us, um, you know, keeps us pushing and keeps us focused and dialed in. You guys brought Jimmy Garoppolo in. Does that you know lessen any urgency that you might have at the top of the draft to bring in a quarterback? Not necessarily. Um, I think that you know, anytime you can find a young player at that position that's going to have an impact on your team, you have to keep an open mind to that. Of course, we're excited to have Jimmy, and having Jimmy um, does supply us with a, a very high quality starting player at the position, and so um, we feel comfortable with that. But I think to close that door, you know, and just say that that's not something you would do because of X, Y, and Z, um, that, that's not the business that we're in. What have you, what have you learned about uh, Jalen Carter in this process? Do you believe it's a more complicated issue for the Raiders than it would be for another team? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. For me, it's not, Adam, in terms of more complicated. I think, you know, looking at Jalen, we looked at Jalen like every other player um, that's in the draft and, and, and doing our due diligence on all aspects of the player from football learning, from practice habits, um, from the personal side of things, on the field, off the field, um, how people interact, how they interact with people, how they treat people, um, you know, their experience at the pro day combine, all of those different aspects. Um, I don't think we, um, we want to cheat the process with any prospect in that regard. We want to hit those bases for each individual prospect. And then of course, on some prospects, it's deeper, right? There's just more things to look at and, and more things to consider based on, you know, their situation. And so um, he, Jalen in, in that regard was, um, you know, similar and, and, and to a lot of players in the draft and, you know, feel very comfortable with the work that we've done on him. I was going to ask about Josh, but I think on a, maybe on a more general level, do you think the, the running back scale needs to be looked at in a certain way? Like it seems like smart teams are not guaranteeing like long-term contracts to running backs because that's probably the smart thing to do. But running backs are you know have a shorter shelf life; they they go, go through this grind. Like, do you think that needs to be looked at at some point? Looked at in terms of the pay scale, I guess, in terms of maybe getting them paid sooner or something along those lines, not affecting the cap as much for running backs. Like that's above my that's that's. That's not those aren't the weeds that I want to get into right now. Um, I would just say this, um, you know, in terms of the running back position, obviously it's 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 a physical position to play, and 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 um, it's one of the more f physical positions to play in football. Those guys take a lot of hits. Um, they're often carry the ball and touch the ball more than other skill players and things like that. And so, um, it's a tough position to play. And and um, in terms of like getting into the you know the pay scale and w what it could be or should be. Um, you know, I'm going I'm to leave that one alone.